Awakening Code Radio with Eric Rankin. Mind-expanding talk and music every Tuesday night on KX 93.5. Of course, we are affiliated. Um, people might think it's strange when we talk about it, what we've, uh, you know, if you're just tuning in the first time, but affiliated with this 1111 Awakening Code page and people who feel a sense of being triggered when they see certain numeric patterns. Mm-hmm. And uh, 1111 is a big one, but certainly not the only one. No. Yeah, people see three three threes and two two twos or one two three four five or something, and we always just say, you know, what matters is it serves as your awakening code exactly. first. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Can we ask about the two two two? Since that was that was one of the posts that Colleen she yeah. saw two two in the sky. Oh, uh-huh. like today, and or... posted that today, and then a whole bunch of people wrote in around they're seeing the two 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 now, mm-hmm. and and a lot of a lot of different numbers five 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 and yeah, I mean what, I. Five is always about career shifting. It's high, high change. It's always about seeing clearly your path and your purpose. Mm -hmm. But the twos, the twos are really interesting because two is the frequency that we are really moving into. Two is the number of intuition, sensitivity, Uh cooperation. It's all about the new age, so to speak, the new age dawning. There's this whole thing that I wrote about actually in the energy of words, which um, my publisher made me write over and over again so that it wasn't going to ruffle any feathers. But the theory behind the whole epidemic of kids having ADHD and then switching over to autism was the fact that we saw such a wave of the whole ADHD and ADD group in the late 1990s because everyone had multiple nines in their date of birth. And now we see all of these beautiful kids who are being born in the 2000s and later who are supposedly autistic or they're hypersensitive with, you know, tags bother them or food textures and those Mm -hmm. kinds of things because they have multiple twos. So they're very in tune spiritually because two is the number of intuition and sensitivity. So it's uh, the most sensitive soul plane number. So it's really not an epidemic. It's just, you know, people who are seeing the twos are really just tuned in. They're really uh, tuned into the spiritual. They're very uh, psychic people. Numerology is, I always say, it's the science of numbers. I mean, it's, it's you know, we've, we've talked about this uh, throughout the show, that it's, um, you know, recognizing patterns, energy patterns. That's really the essence of using numbers. Um, it's, to me, it's just another way to see the unseen. And some people resonate with numbers where other people may resonate with astrology. Mm -hmm. But I'm an intellectual, so I love numbers and and numerical patterns and mathematics and that kind of thing. So I really resonate with the numbers, and it's a way for for me to be able to recognize patterns and recognize the energy of other people, places, and things. So that's to me, that's the definition of numerology. I mean, there's lots of... (laughs) Uh, traditional textbook uh, Pythagoras definitions, but to me that's what the numbers represent. Mm -hmm. And soul numbers, um, I called the book Soul Numbers because really that's why we're all here, is that we interact with other people on a soul level, Mm -hmm. and we grow and change based on those relationships that we have with other people. So the essence of looking into numbers is to understand those relationships. And the beauty of my work, or the core of my work, is always to help people like yourself, Michelle, to understand people like your daughter, for mm-hmm. example. I mean, that's just such an eye-opener when we can understand the you relationships help me so much with that. we have with mm-hmm. other people, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's called soul numbers, decipher the inner messages, right, mm-hmm. from our inner self to, to successfully navigate life. Mm-hmm. So it's really about understanding what our soul is trying to tell us, you know, the messages that are coming from within. And uh, so that's really why I called it soul numbers. Awakening Code Radio is available on podcast. Visit www.kx935.com. Click podcast, then scroll to Awakening Code's previous shows.